So I noticed this interesting discussion the other day. It's um, You see this sometimes on Rust uh, discussion boards where somebody comes from a, a background with like a Java or Scala, Scala or Scala, I don't even know, um, or like C Sharp, and they love interfaces and then come across traits in Rust and then uh, start using uh, too many traits and then uh, things start to get awkward because you have like this box trait, box trait kind of like structs with a, with trade objects in them, and then uh, they end up uh, asking, you know, is this uh, is this the way the rustic uh, way to do it? And the interesting part is that uh, I noticed um, a lot of people started recommending using an enum instead of a trait. So um, here's enum, and then way way down here you have a bunch of other comments. Why don't you try an enum? Enum. Why don't you try an enum? And so. Um, so that was interesting because I uh, Rust is my uh, my only language, so I never had the uh, the desire to use traits everywhere. But um, yeah, finally I saw this, and uh, so I gave the trait the enum trait uh, style a try, and I'll just show you um, what it looks like because uh, it's really when you uh, when you type out the whole thing, it's actually uh, really similar. And it's quite interesting. So I just use a um, so here's a Give name just a simple trait, and we'll just uh, look at how how you do things with traits first. So static stir. So you have this trait, and you have to give it your name. And let's say we have a struct one and a struct two, and then you want to give them uh, give them the traits. So you go impl give name for one, and then it'll say implement missing number members. And then one's going to do that to give its name. And then two is going to do the same thing. And now it's giving its name. Let's just see if this is big enough. I think that's okay. And then now you have, um, you can do something like this. You have a function, uh, get name, and you can take in a generic, uh, generic T, which is a, uh, give name or you can do um, like an impl give name over here. Um, so we'll say input is, uh, is a T. So this is uh, guaranteed to have this give name trait, which means it's guaranteed to have this uh, this method. So you can say print line, the types name is, and then you do that and you go input dot give name, and then you can run it. And we didn't call it in main. Get name. Um, let's see. One. These are just units. Um, unit uh, struts. So we can just throw them in there. And let's see. There we go. So the type's name is one. The type's name is two. And there you go. So you have uh, get name. Um, so yeah, that's how you do it with a with a trait. And then. Now the thing about a trait is if you're making a library, then anybody can use this library and they can use this give name trait. So the uh, the strength of a trait is that uh, anybody can use it. Uh, it's open, um, and the the weakness is that um, well there are a few weaknesses. Um, sometimes if you have like a box stein some sort of trait, then that can get awkward. Uh, it's also going through a v table, which is a little bit slower. And so let's just do the same thing with an enum and see what that looks like. So I'll just actually, I'm going to put this on the bottom in case we need to look at it again. And we'll take the same thing and we will enumify it. So what we do is let's change this from trait, en trait give name to enum give name. And when you have an enum, then you have to choose, okay, who's going to, um, what are the variants? And so that is where you choose them. So right right away you can see it's closed. So it's only going to be implemented for one and for two. And if you want to uh, to implement it, uh, then for something else, then you add it into the enum itself. And then what you do here is you go impl, uh, give name. So you implement, on the uh, the enum itself, 
And then here's the uh, the function we want. So we say, okay, here's what it's going to do. And you match on self and you go give name one. And we're going to say this uh, we got zero or o dot give name. And then if it's uh, give name two, and then we'll just call it t. Then you will say, t.giveName. So this is like the high level. Uh, we're saying this is what the quote unquote trait is going to do. And then what happens here is the um, these ones here, instead of implementing the trait, they're just implementing the method that this enum is saying they have to have for the program to compile. So the interesting part is that these, uh, these structs now, they're they're unaware of the enum. Like this is just in their own world. They're just um, just a struct, and they're just implementing this thing that happens to be called give name. But the way you make it feel like a trait is you say it won't compile unless it uh, unless it has this method, and it also won't compile unless it's the same uh, the same signature. So now this get name can be an input um, get name. Or if we don't want to destroy it, we can go uh, or give name rather, give name. Then we can do that, and then you can see it. It works in exactly the same way. So we can give it a ref. Actually, let's uh, let's create them first. Let one equals one, just to show that you can do this as well, like that. And you do a ref to you do a reference to one, so it stays alive if you want to use it later. And uh, let's see what happened here. Oh, that's right. That's the other difference is, um, of course, you have to go give name one. It has to be give name, not the uh, the type itself. Give name one, give name two, stick a two in there. And then now it works again. And then we, uh, we do cargo run. And there you go. So the type's name is one, the type's name is two. And so now we have this sort of uh, interesting, interesting thing here. So it's uh, it's kind of like a trait, uh, except these uh, these are totally unaware that they are members of this um, enum-like trait. And uh, so you can you can make a one or you can make a two. And so this is effectively kind of like a box dyne, except for there's no box and it's uh, it's done all at um, at compile time. And you can also do methods like um, you can do like into one like if you want to um, you know, pull out the one then you can say this should give a well it might not give a one so you would do result of uh, one and uh, we'll just say I don't know a string just to say hey it didn't work and so you go match match self again do this and then if it's uh, if it is a one, then you go, okay, here is your one type. And if it's not, then you go error and you say, hey, it's the wrong type, like that. And what am I missing? That is the wrong kind of arrow. To string. There we go. So you, um, so now you have this enum, and it's going to give you the, um, maybe give you the inner type, and uh, in the meantime, you also have the uh, the trait methods, the trait like methods that are here that force them to um, to uh, to go along with the uh, with the trait. But um, I guess I should call this try into one. And so let's say we have a, um, let's see, we have a one. So we will go one dot, uh, let's just print out the result. Do this, and we'll go one dot try into one. That doesn't implement debug. That's right. Mm -hmm drive debug there you go and 
then two or one dot uh, two dot try into one like that and then that should give us an okay and an error so there you go so the first one okay one and then error hey it's the wrong type so this is kind of like a uh, downcast so when you have a uh, downcast in a trait it tries to make it into this type and if it doesn't work then uh, then it gives you an error or it gives you a none so yeah that is uh, the interesting thing that I've been reading about recently <laughs>